Hi, it's Bella. Hi, it's me, Bella too. Return of the King. <laughs> yeah, Return of the King. Bet you missed me. Um, it is actually Friday, which wow. used to be my upload day. So that's just a funky coincidence. And you know what? I don't care for the days of the week. Did you know that? I, they just don't. They don't mean anything to me. Like well, months and years and even time of day, those are concepts that I can get behind. But days of the week are just they they just don't they just don't matter to me. They evoke no feeling. I I have no idea what the hell you're talking about, but uh, <laughs> that's why I don't even memorize them. I have no idea what they're called. It's like there's only seven of them and I still can't I can't recall. It's like Monday is one of them and then there's like I like Thursday. I think Thursday sounds cool, but I, that's kind of it for See, me. See, but yeah, I can't, I can't relate. They just don't. I don't even. I don't even want to think about them. Well, then don't. You know. Yeah, I'm trying. Um, okay. Uh, welcome to the first part of this riot. Th thank you for welcoming me. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. <laughs> uh, I had a great time building this um i did quite a bit of research which was also very fun um i chose to build this in Serra Dourada, which is obviously not the best I, i mean i guess it's the best choice um with what we have um but this this doesn't look like morocco it, not not exactly um well i think You can make up for that by building a house that very much looks like Morocco, so... Well, I tried my best. Um, and if you try your best, you will succeed. succeed. Sure. And is that is that something people say? No, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what are we looking at? What are the landmark um, things that have to go in a Riyadh to make it a Riyadh? Um, well... A Riyadh is a traditional Moroccan home and um, you can find them in big Moroccan cities, um, Medinas. And I don't know if you knew, but it can get quite hot in Africa. What? This is news to me. So uh, one of the main objectives in building a comfortable home is keeping it cool. Right. Um, so uh, this is a traditional home uh, which was usually reserved for rather wealthy families. Um, they're, they're big homes who rarely have any outside windows. Um, if they do, they'd be in the second story and very small. Um, so to still get light and air and circulation and all that, um, there's an inner courtyard. Which is very cool. Which is incredibly cool. And um, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that um, if it's a Riyadh, it has to have an you know, courtyard garden. Like something has to grow there. And if it's a Dar, then it just, it's got a courtyard, but there's not necessarily plants there. All right. Um, and yeah. They're quite big. Um, they were usually reserved for wealthy families, which um, also there, there was that additional effect of super privacy. Right. Uh, Having because in a, a courtyard. Right, and no windows. Yeah. Um, and so Linux, huh? Privacy centered, no windows. That sounds like <laughs> Linux to me. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Keep it moving. Um. Shit. I, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, what what no windows um, does as well, um, next to the no blue blue screens thing, right. is that you can build these houses right next to each other. They can attach, ah, basically, right. um, which is great in crowded cities because you need less space for more people. Right. Um, and I read somewhere that um, some these sort of elaborate mazes through these houses 
right. um, came to be through that sort of architecture. Oh, imagine being a kid growing up, having an, an inside courtyard. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, oh, so also there there are windows. They just go to the inner courtyard. There are just no outside windows. I don't know if that came across. Right. Um, so you still get side. that yeah, air. It looks like an outside window to me. Uh, yeah, I put that there and I'm I took it out later. Okay. Um, that is supposed to be the library. And at first, I, you know, my Western mind wanted an open window in the library. But um, I decided against it later for realism purposes right <laughs> i just want to shout out to whoever invented ac um yeah props props for you like you know we try to be somewhat reasonably environmentally conscious but that's where i draw the line ac is just is it you don't have an ac no but it was because it's expensive because i'm poor as hell i would definitely have an ac <laughs> if i could afford one are you kidding me that's like that's where i draw the line it's like I'm only willing to suffer so much for the environment and AC, man, without AC, especially when it like gets too hot, I just can't, you've seen me like now during the summer when it gets too hot, I can barely move. I'm like permanently surrounded by at least three fans. That's um, true. I still don't know if I agree with that, but um, yeah, that's, yeah. that's fine. Well, if only you had a courtyard and no outside windows. Listen, if I had a courtyard and no outside windows, my life would be a hell of a, hell of a lot different. So, I think it's uh, yeah. Uh, but I agree. If you, if anybody out there has got a courtyard um, that they're willing to give up for absolutely nothing in return, um, <laughs> message me, please. Well, I I hate to burst your bubble, but I think the Moroccan climate is quite necessary to have this type of house function the way it does for example there's not a lot of rain in morocco and uh, because of that there's there's no uh, sloped roof needed so these usually have a flat roof as you can see here which allows for some really great roof designing like roof terraces which is what the biggest part of this speed build is going to be um me designing if I'm, if I may say so myself, an awesome roof terrace. <laughs> <laughs> um, you will be hearing from my lawyers, um, and you will be f charged the full amount um, that my my bubble cost to begin with, because <laughs> uh, I am now out one bubble, and I don't even have my courtyard. So, screw you, man. Um, I also want to make an observation that there's a lot of arches, which I always really appreciate. I think good arch could make. Uh, anyone's home feel much more um organic. round oh oh yeah okay uh sure much more round um yeah and i really dig it uh yeah that's fair i mean last voiceover we were talking about your love for columns which was promptly and reasonably shut down in the comments by um the mention of las vegas and some of its very very ugly columns oh i didn't even see okay well listen that doesn't that doesn't mean that columns in general are bad. No, no, but you were saying, um, I, I'm trying to quote you here. Um, there are no bad columns. Columns are always better than no columns. Okay. I love okay, columns. Okay. 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 I'd like to marry a column. All right. Every house should have a column. That does sound like me. Um, but here, okay, here's how I'm gonna uh, refute your entire argument. Um, so you're saying that there are ugly columns in Las Vegas, right? That was the message? Yeah. Um, so if we now went and removed all these ugly columns, then a lot of these buildings would be collapsing, right? So uh, maybe it's better to have them there than to not have them at all. So, uh, got I, get, I get what you're saying. I think they're usually not structural columns, um, but maybe those are just a few exceptions that you need to every rule, you know? you column haters F you columns are good to have you are unnecessarily aggressive lately <laughs> <laughs> i'm really not <laughs> it's the heat i'm telling you the heat is, is uh messing me up oh you wait for the plunge pool on this rooftop i i will wait um i have to say i've already seen it oh and it was amazing oh good uh, and also a great alternative to a pool. Listen, if I 
if uh, so what a pole uh, to AC a great eternal of to AC listen if I um, if I had permanent access to a private pool and also the kind of lifestyle that would allow for me to just hop into the pool wherever I want whenever I wanted to I wouldn't need the AC right I could just spend my time underwater like it like a fish um yeah except also for... the pool has got to be cooled by an extra AC unit <laughs> <laughs> so kind of catch 22 also you are very particular about your sleeping temperature yeah I'll sleep in the pool all right fine yeah, water cooled me no that's you are so solution oriented you yeah. know that's really that's a fun thing about you yeah I'll take one for the team I'll sleep in the pool I don't care um on a completely um, not completely unrelated note um how does it how does it work if I okay so I'm in Morocco right I go to the market and I buy a bunch of melons does every melon just is this is this gonna be a math problem because uh... I'm so ready I'm so ready to <laughs> okay. talk about these 53 melons that you're about to buy uh, okay I'm buying 53 melons and none of them are watermelons um, so they're cantaloupes maybe it really, it really doesn't matter for the sake okay. of the story. Okay, so um, I'm buying all of this 53 melons. Um, and now the question that I wanted to, to ask you is, how long would it take, um, if I all put them in the pool, how long would it take for them to turn into watermelons? No. <laughs> well, like, that, how... Because oh, they, like, they got to swell up, right? They got to turn green and the inside's got to turn red. It's going to take some time. How, how long does it... How does it work? <laughs> no. Also, <laughs> I've never seen one of these watermelon factories with just big pools. So, where do they... Where do they come from? How does that work? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's very uninformative for me. Thank you very much. I think that is exactly... I, I was just trying to... Or that's is this some sort of conspiracy <laughs> conspiracy thing where like you're too afraid to talk about it because there's like a, a watermelon mafia oh man yeah I maybe yeah. we should cut this part out I just really I don't want to talk about it <laughs> no, I just <laughs> I thought you were so ready <laughs> for maths well this is maths how long does it take is was my question now you can calculate all the factors like with the density of the watermelon, the viscosity of the water, what does it what does it take? I think it? I'm getting a nosebleed. <laughs> I think I think you're, you're being so stupid that I'm getting a nosebleed. What? Excuse me. I, are you really? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, folks, I guess it's just me now. Um, so, if you have any um, info on this watermelon debate, I'd love to hear your um, thoughts in the comments. Um, and oh, there she comes. Um, feeling better? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm unsure I caused this. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I'm unsure this is related to my stupidity. Um, but it's very funny nonetheless. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're welcome. My <laughs> compliments for your nosebleed. <laughs> um, there's more arches, and there's even fake arches right now. That are not real arches. Oh no, I just put those up to um, <gasps> put those curtains there. Right, that easily. looks really cool. And uh, those move in the wind. They are animated curtains. What? Yeah. Who Felix, made these? Felix did. Oh, of course. Um, just in general, I had so much fun with the Grove set. It is gorgeous. Um, I hate that that this was the last part. I'd, I'd love to just... If he, he kept doing this forever, that'd be great. <laughs> but also, I'm sure the next thing is going to be just as beautiful, so. That's the thing with these creative types, you know? Like, I I will always be like, oh, this is super amazing. No one could ever do anything better than this. And then they're like, they just pop out the next thing. I'm like, what, how, what? This is also great. You can mo make more great stuff that is not all the same. Right. Like, for me, when I make one thing and it, it works great, I just stick to that thing. I I, have, I don't have the creative muscle to think of another great thing to think of. <laughs> These people just pu keep pumping out the, the good CC, man. I appreciate it. Yes, and I'm going to be able to use it for the interior, which is going to be great fun. So, okay, here's what I've been thinking. 
Like, if this whole YouTube thing doesn't work out, you could still build the buildings and maybe we could 3D print them and put them in like a, a, a funny little, like, uh, funny museum type deal where it's just it's like an exhibition just on like sims buildings that are 3d printed but you'd still have to like paint them so it's kind of double the work for uh probably a lot no less, reason yeah, for no reason at all but i thought it'd be cool having like the miniature houses you built like actually having them as physical objects yeah, that'd be kind of sick i mean people do that i watch a lot of miniature building um right. on youtube and when she says a lot she means an absolute an absolute f no i i do it like i do it like like background entertainment wise like when when i just need really need to chill right you know it comes it is down. very relaxing i understand that very much um so yeah that is very cool in general but it's a hell of a lot of work like dioramas yes yeah okay um well but it's 3d but it's printed right so the whole thing would be 3d printed you'd only have to paint it which is also a lot of work, don't get me wrong, I'm just saying. Would the roofs and the different stories be detachable so you could look inside? No, or? no, no. You'd have to paint them while it was printing. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I wouldn't even be able to look at them. Right, because no, you know, yeah, off. they're close up. Yeah, you'd have to cut. It's like, oh my God, it's a cake. <laughs> it's like you don't even realize, but at the end it's a cake and you can slice into it. And it's like, it's, it's a building. And, Whoops! And there's small cake people living inside of it. Oh, that'd be Wait, so sick. They're alive. Sure, sure, they're alive. Why? You, you think I'm giving I'm giving them the spark of life through cake? Yeah. And the Sims. I feel like we have very different opinions on how this universe works. <laughs> yeah, I feel inclined to agree. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing this is where the pool will end up. Right, here comes the plunge pool. And by guessing, I mean I know. Uh, and I do have to say, is this a grill next to it? A barbecue. Like yeah, a bar yeah, a barbecue grill. Yeah, that's yeah, perfect. That's a perfect placement because like you can you can make like a good old you know like a medium rare like a a, a good steak, and then like it's but it's way too hot, so you just throw it in the pool, cool it off, and eat it in the pool. I might eat it quickly before it turns into a watermelon, because it's gonna have that much time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not even gonna ask about that. Um but if there's yeah. a fire emergency, you have water nearby? Well I was thinking Gotta think you about and fire your safety. goddamn um, fire safety. Okay, okay, listen, chill. It's got someone's <laughs> gotta do it. Well I was thinking somebody would be plunging in the pool and then there'd be staff to cook dinner and they but they'd still throw it into the pool right so I could, it would cool down because i don't i guess so there's probably if chlorine that, in the pool though so it, that's been not very thought out of you maybe you should you should have you should have a different food pool without the chlorine i, I should have yeah you're so right yeah thank you so much for your input you're very welcome <laughs> <laughs> um and what what else are we gonna expect on this roof what what else can we are we gonna see um, this is a tiny bar area, right. and there's a lot of walkway and just like space to enjoy yourself and the beautiful views and the sun. For example, in the sun bathing area, oh. which has another kiddie slash plunge pool, like to just dip your feetsies in, mm -hmm. little feetsies. And there's a dining area, and there's a lounge area in the shade and then there's a lounge and blowing bubbles area what water pipe water ah okay gotcha 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 so uh <laughs> <laughs> okay okay keeping it family friendly <laughs> okay so here's what i'm thinking um the average day of the cake person that lives here is um they will first have a seat at the mini bar area Get absolutely fu uh, shit faced um, <laughs> on uh, juice. <laughs> um, then they'll they'll take their business over to the barbecue, have a little light snack, uh, maybe dip into the cool uh, into the pool, get madly sunburned, of course. Um, uh, oh no, they they won't get uh, sunburned here. They'll do that in the in the sunbathing area. Um, after which they will have dinner in their dinner area, and then they'll walk through the feedsy pool. Uh, filled with feetsies <laughs> uh, and 
they will then reside in the shadowy area to uh, cool off because they're so sunburned. Uh, having a good old go at that crack pipe that you were mentioning. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Uh, you must have misunderstood. Uh, I was saying water pipe, like hookah. Ah. Not, 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 not. Not? Oh, sorry. I must have misheard you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I thought you talked about a good old crack pipe, but that's my fault. Um, no, hookah's chill. Um, for sure. I see that. Especially in the shade. Yeah, you know? well, that that one's not in the shade. Oh, uh, so your hookah, hook, hookahring, your shishering, your water piping in the in out in the sun. I am. <laughs> and if oh. you're not a coward, you I, could be too. <laughs> I've never. I've never e even seen you in the same room with the shisha. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Are you a shisha? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is some, some low-ass humor. Is this your next conspiracy theory? It might just be. Um, I do very much like the roof tiles. Is that uh, the Moroccan style? Uh, that is a terrazzo floor. Um, those beautiful good tiles, which are... I, I can never get a straight answer out of you. I, like, no, wait, I you're getting this, it. I, I know none of the uh, words you answered with. <laughs> <laughs> I've understood nothing so far. You said four words absolutely foreign to me. <laughs> How am I supposed to distill what that means? <laughs> wait, just just, just wait. Um, so, uh, look at those. Those are good tiles. Oh. Those are typically Moroccan, and those are also in the courtyard downstairs. Right. Um, this here is a terrazzo floor, um, which you make from little pieces of right, but ceramic. I, I, okay, I was wondering about the roof tiles that kind of are on the inside of the courtyard. Oh, um, well... Watermelon, sorry. The <laughs> <laughs> I gotta keep my excitement in check. Fresh out of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> um, those are from Felix's Kyoto set, and yeah, they they'd be they're they're rather Asian. Um, but if it does yeah, rain, because I thought I thought they were Asian. Wait. If it does rain, you do want the water to get inside the courtyard for the plants, because that's where the garden is. Right, that makes sense. Um, so uh, what's this little house on the 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 house on the left? The little <laughs> What's that? Is the that a chimney? Oh, that's a chimney. Okay, I thought it was like a birdhouse or something. <laughs> <laughs> it can be whatever you want it to be. Um, but yeah. Is that the, the main hookah of the house? <laughs> <laughs> They've got like one big old main hookah next to the, next to the dining table. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot something. There's also an outdoor shower, which I thought was a great addition to the cooling effect of the plunge pool. And the feetsy pool. And the feetsies pool. Does it sound like feetsy? Yeah, Because... I, I had thought so as well before, but I was not gonna say something, so... Damn. Um, yeah, but, but a shower. Yeah. I mean, that's great. That is great. Having an outdoor shower is a, an amazing thing to have. On your roof? Yeah, it's, it's like, it's private too, because like you're in the middle of nowhere. That's amazing. Right, you do have a lot of privacy on a roof. Right. Um... And it's very convenient because it's right next to the sunbathing area. Whereas the actual plunge pool is across from it. And you'd have to walk across that very hot floor. But I, I kind of thought it would be fun, probably. Like, I would love to have a reason to walk around this roof. I thought you'd also have like a pair of flip-flops always on the ready. Mm, yeah, it makes sense. Right, because you would never want to walk on these hot tiles, unless like you were like just coming out of the pool. But then again, you still have flip flops, so. Yeah, out of the feetsies pool. Yeah, sure. Whatever, whatever floats your Feets. flip flop. Feets. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, there's the shower. I could, I spotted it. That's like a Where's Waldo, but it's just for showers and it's a video, so it's way worse. Where's Chauro? <laughs> <laughs> um, I do like the plants surrounding that seat there. Just to say you'll sit there being engulfed by plants. Yeah, um, I, I I figured that that's the one thing that, that still gives you that air of coolness and the feeling of life instead of 
broad. Right. You know, I thought plants were, lots of plants were a great choice. Yeah. Um, and you'd have to have staff watering these plants. Are these plants that basically just survive within the drought? I'm pretty sure the people who could afford to live here would have staff. Uh, I would hope so, because maintaining this house all by yourself sounds like a lot of work. Um, so, yeah, but I do, uh, in conclusion, very much appreciate the plants. Although, in my experience, a lot of plants come with a lot of bugs. And that I do not appreciate. Yeah, me either. But this is a fantasy world where only fantasy things exist, so... Right, thank you. And I did not put any Sims 4 mosquitoes on the slot. So That's very far. nice of you. That's very nice of you. Please, um, also, Felix, don't ever make uh, mosquito CC content. Thank you. Uh, there are don't... actual in game mosquitoes. Oh. But are they animated? Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Um, so, I have a question for you. Do you ever, when you're like watching back one of these videos, do you ever imagine like. Because, you know, you're building the house, but it's kind of removed because it's a video game. You're, like, looking from up above and you have this free mo camera movement. Do you ever imagine it's like a little bird holding a camera in their mouth and they're, like, moving the camera for you, flying I, around the house? I thought this question was going to go elsewhere entirely. Well, where did you think I was going to ask? Anything else. Literally any, <laughs> anything else. I've been imagining for quite some time that there's, like, a little bird holding the camera and you, you move this little bird. You tell him where to go. And he like sh shows you what you want to see and then you build the house. That's very cute. Right? <laughs> That's that actually very cute. And yeah. His I... name is Larry. Oh. He has a family too. Great. I love Larry. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and, and think about it like that from now on because that's very fun. Right? Yeah. You're welcome. Um, so I want to say that I think this whole roof area has uh, come together really nicely. And I would love to enjoy uh, being able to live on this roof. It's very crowded, cluttered. Right, but that's always what makes it feel realistic, right? Um, yeah, I, that's exactly what I wanted for this. I went in with a clear picture in mind. I wanted it to look full. Um, maybe even as if you'd have to squeeze through some spaces to get somewhere. Um, I wanted it to look grand, but still cozy, warm colors, um, and lots of different materials yeah and you and can tell these these spaces really feel like different spaces yeah and with just many things to see i want it everywhere to be a little adventure in itself yeah um um as we're nearing the end i just wanted to ask you do, do you already have like a clear vision for what you want to do for the interior i do not i did some research and um i i do wanna um contrast the beautiful beautiful um older architecture historical architecture with some contemporary furniture um i want to use lots of the architectural details from the grove set but apart from that um it's still pretty open pretty open okay um well i think uh, there should be yeah I've I've made some guidelines for you so here's some stuff I think you should include I think there should be um, a bed of sorts uh, like a, a bathroom would be nice like having maybe a couple of chairs throwing a couple of chairs and you know having a table uh, maybe something on the wall um, right like this kind of stuff this is very helpful you're very welcome. <laughs> Thank I've, you so I've much. I've been pondering over this for weeks. Oh, oh great. I'm Good. glad I can be of help. Yeah, I think um, I might do three bedrooms this time. Oh, Quite spicy. a lot, huh? Um, I, I want to apologize for this voiceover really being all over the place. I hope you enjoyed it still. Oh, we know you enjoyed it. And uh, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.